Hello, and we're back to Silent Hill 4, looking outside at the lovely view. At Hotel South Ashfield. Mm. And what's this? Restaurant Fuseli? Yeah. Fuseli? I can't quite, I don't know if that's just yeah, one I block letter at the end there or not. Fussels? Anyway. <laughs> it's all quite well done, actually, because obviously, really, it's all very basic shapes. It's sort of just the pictures painted on them. It's like a, the cars are it's as a well. fairly um fairly realistic sort of yeah, it's very nice setting, I think. There. Quite like the cars going by. It gives it some sort of dynamicism, makes it look like a real real place. Not sure any building planner would put those trees there. <laughs> what is that? Is that just me being awkward? Might just be me being awkward. They are a bit view, close. Though. Yeah, Lovely. it's very cool. Yes, and we'll see someone jiving down there. But enough of those window view. Nice though it is. So in the last episode we heard from Cynthia. That phone there. Yes, saying, where did you go? You should have to help me. And there's a token there if you need one, whatever that means. You have a faint noise. Oh, so Eileen doing the the, the sweeping. sweeping. With the broom. I think she's gone. Oh, wait, oh, no. Ethan's still here. Oh, she is. Yes, it's quite a strange way to sort of look out at someone. Very interesting idea. I do love the, the theme of voyeurism, though. Works really well. Have another look at this. It mostly stays the same. Hmm. hmm. Well, I think we should go back in the hall, but first of all, I am going to put stuff in here. Because I'm gonna. I know we don't need the chocolate milk until later. I've played this before. We've got three um, weapons. I don't suppose we'd need all of them. I'd be tempted to put the gun away, so I'm not so tempted to use it. Yes, but then surely you'll never use it. Well, I'd only use it for a bit. Because hmm. I, I can probably manage the dogs myself. I'll keep it up on me for now, though. That wonderful noise that emanates from it. Into the hall. Yes. Thought it was very defi definitely like a Cynthia mannequin. Coin in its hand, which I'm going to take the coin. It's the David Lynch Street line <laughs> coin. Which is, it says is a token for the subway. It's sort of more of a collection of them, so you can use it, yeah. So that's very strange, yes. Reminds, Reminds me. <laughs> it's Cynthia. It's got bloody hands as well, which is yes. a bit... Ugh. Yeah, but sort of on the, the room mechanic, so we have we didn't come out down the escalator, we came out where we, we last left this place. Yeah, it sort of reminds me a little bit of the, the box ah, from um, Resident Evil that teleports items to your yeah. next location. But this time we actually have a, a, a fairly good in-game rationale for it. If it is such a thing, which I suppose, because eh, it's it's kind of um, magical. Oh, there's our, oh, our weapon. That did broke. say it broke. <laughs> but, uh, we're clicking rather a bit more frantically to dispatch these enemies. So this is our first little fight. We seem to be doing reasonably well. We can dodge these enemies at least. Yeah, get down, you. Mm, there's still the good old stomping on them. So our description's changed as well, actually. Oops, that's the wrong button. That's a scrapbook. It's not what I meant to do. I meant to press this button. 
actually better now. More dangerous now that as a weapon it. now that it's broken. Though we possibly wasted some wine. Urgh. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the hole, actually. Because I want to show you the other mechanic that I'm going to take advantage of, and I'm going to put this broken bottle in the, uh, the box. We also don't get to control the transition as well at this point. It just kind of sweeps us back out. Yeah, it's just a movie. We can actually skip it if we really want to. Same as this bit is skippable as well, but I'll try not to. I think it adds to the game a little bit. Yeah. But if you've noticed, we're getting our health back. A little flashy indicator, yes, that it's creeping up. Yes, I think that little cutscene sort of adds to the weirdness of it, because we, we go through a hole and wake up in our bed. We don't even come out in the bathroom. So I'm pop that away. And there I'm just going to use the steel pipe, I think. But I did want to come back and heal. And it's a good idea to heal as often as you can. Yes. Ah, there's uh, someone else. Just opposite us. So it's always worth coming back to the apartment quite frequently anyway, because things change. Mm. He looks like he's having a drink. There's other people to the left as well, I think. Um, yeah. It's very interesting. Hmm. Right. I think we're healthed up. Should we listen to the radio again? Let's have a listen. And now the news. In Washington, a gathering of 200,000 people appealing for stricter gun control laws in the wake of a spate of violent shootings throughout the country turned tragic when shots were fired into the crowd. Two people were killed and several wounded, including a three-year-old child. At this moment, no suspects have been found. Police are investigating the source of the shots. Mm -hmm. How uh, ironic. Mm. And uh, descriptions of things will occasionally change as well. I'm not sure it will have done so. No, it's perhaps better. Quite so soon, but um, yeah. In fact, I suspect some of the descriptions in the bathroom may have changed. What with a great big hole we got here now. Water has stopped running. Well, we pulled a pipe out, that would make sense. That hasn't changed. No, it has. He said they're just normal stuff you find in the bathroom. But I don't have time for oh, that now. I suppose. So yes, it's changed. None of this, um, it's been the same as it has been for the last two years. Of course there's no one in the bathtub. Which is a bit of a running theme in Silent Hill. I think that's one of the things we always worry about. Like, could there be someone standing behind that shower curtain? Yeah. That I don't think there is, though. Slight paranoia everyone has a little about being alone in a house. Oh, yeah. What could have done this? Mm. Well, well, as he says, who could have done it? There must be someone here. So you can see that the paranoia of Henry's already built up. Yeah. Interesting character, Henry, as well. He's very quiet. Let's go back. With even more weird noises. Of the old film filter, which lingers a little after you come out. Yeah. So yes, we're fully uh, tooled up, fully healed. Just that look up there. So here we have another little part of the subway. Oh, and more enemies. Yeah, there's the music kicking in. Yes, I was wondering if we were going to get enemy indicator. Oh, can you see the strength indicator with my weapon as well? Ah, yes. Kick that quickly. There we go. Again, full up. <laughs> Some kind of station guide. It's totally useless. Hmm. Actually, we uh, we make our own map. Yes, I was going to say, do we find one? But it's quite nice, yes, that you can make it on the fly. So there's a turnstile and an office, and it's marked our little portal there as well. I tend to find you don't really need the map that much in this one anyway. No, probably not. Broken and I can't use it. 
In fact, it's kind of weird the way the ticket machines are kind of built into the wall there. Mm. Let's see what's along here first. Or is this back the way we came? No, no, this isn't back the way... No, it is. Did we get turned around? Yeah, I love looped around. It's fine, we can just uh, go back. I suppose that's part of the location. It all looks kind of the same in its weird greyness. There's phones here. Payphone, but it's broken. Broken. So we can go through here. More enemies and something else in the distance there. Oh, I love that the the, down here. <laughs> the wall on the side there was sort of bulging out weirdly on the left. Yeah. You can see the tiling behind it again as well in a couple of places. Yes, there at the top. Let's uh, dispatch these doggies. Well, that's one down. Boot. Yeah, you have some interesting um, options for dodging them. Oh, there we go. That's another two dogs. So we've got this big thing here. Yes. Which is rather so disturbing. Actually burrowing into the wall and coming out the ceiling has sort of a, a wiggly texture on it. There's some bullets here as well. Ah, pistol bullets. Actually, I should read that, shouldn't I? Small diameter bullets for use in the pistol. Not, Not very, very powerful. powerful. Mm. But they're still bullets, so... But uh, we can't get any further up there. It's a dead end. I think we should leave it there. We'll continue next time. Bye-bye.